So guys, we're getting ready to walk into uh, Ember and Forge. We've never been here. We heard it's a great little coffee spot. We're gonna grab some coffee and we are gonna bring. We're gonna do a little bit of brainstorming on what we're gonna vlog about today. I think I have an idea. It might be about speed bumps. We're gonna try a pour over maybe. So guys, I'm here. We're here with, that was Howie. And we're also here with Hannah, the owner of Ember and Forge. We're enjoying some delicious coffee right now. That's my hand. And we just got to witness, I've never even heard of it, something super incredible. It's called a pour over. Pour over, yeah. Guys, if you're not into this pour over game, what are you doing with your life? I wasn't, now I am. Now I'm, I'm a big, big fan of the pour over. But can, do you want to explain what the pour over is before we get into the, the yeah, whole Yeah, so it's it's definitely not a new method of brewing coffee, um, but basically it's exactly what it sounds like is that you pour water over the coffee. So it's a filtered coffee very similar to your auto drip except it's completely manual. So you pour over uh, hot water over coffee grounds through a filter and get coffee on the other side. Oh. That's awesome. It sounds pretty scientific. Yeah. Like you should have like a lab coat. Yeah. Well, I do have an engineering background. So. You do? Yeah. All right. Uh, well, speaking of the, uh, engineering background, how did this whole place come together? How did how did the idea? How did the, how did you go from concept or idea to making this actually happen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, was working in an engineering uh, organization and um, just felt pretty disconnected from the community, and then just felt like super disconnected. You know, there's no reason we're business to business company, so there's no reason for me to really engage with the community. And so I uh, just decided that I really, you know, needed to be back downtown in the middle of everything. And so, you know, how do I how do I make that happen? And started looking at like what's important to me, and you know, really came across that community engagement aspect. So how do I engage with the community? Um, and so, you know, what better way than over locally roasted coffee. I think that's awesome. And it's local. And, and I don't know if you guys have noticed uh, a theme in a lot of our vlogs, but we're really trying to enhance and push local. Uh, I went to Denver, Colorado over the summer and my friend tried to order a Bud Light at a rooftop bar and they told him no, they only serve local beer. And I think that's something Erie should start doing too because local is that important to our community. And that's why we're here trying to shed light on on the local aspect and shed light on local businesses that are doing good things for Erie, like Hannah and Ember and Forge. It's important, guys. Well, that was, uh, I mean, that was awesome. Is there anything else you want to share? Like, what do you, where do you see where do you see Ember and Forge a year from now? What I would love to happen is that people come into the shop, connect, share some, share an idea, come up with a plan, and then execute it outside of the walls and make something really cool downtown That's awesome. happen. That's kind of what like I a, really see. Like a networking best. hub Absolutely. with fantastic coffee for yeah. people that want to do fantastic things in your area. I think that's about it, right? Cool. So hey, thank you yeah, thank so you. much Absolutely. for telling us the story. It was nice meeting you, Howie. And uh, you know, we're gonna stop in here for a lot more coffee. Perfect. Definitely. The baby spilled his coffee. He spilled his coffee. Dude, have you driven over the speed bumps at Yorktown Plaza by Giant Eagle? No. No coffee is safe. Nothing in your cup holder is safe on those speed bumps. We should do a segment on those. Let's go measure them and see how big they are. Let's do the hot coffee test on the speed bump. You hold the coffee, I'll drive aggressively. How about I drive and you hold the coffee? Uh, Alright, we're gonna think of something else. Alright, because coffee. I don't want a crotch burn. Plus, this is good coffee. I, I don't want to waste it. it. Yeah. yeah. So. Looks like we found our first one, guys. Let's go check it out. Where are we at? Ooh, I forgot a pen. We're right outside my neighborhood on uh, Coventry Drive. We got a real nice crater over here. Wow, that's a nice one. Thanks, buddy. So I'd say this one's about, maybe in the center, about three inches deep. 24 inches. Yeah, it's about 25 inch circumference, three inch deep. That'll do some damage to the vehicle. Write that down. Let's make sure we uh, document this and see if we can send this in to somebody. All right, so this is our speed bump slash pothole meter yeah the, the movement in jesus is going to tell you how much bump we've got jesus here's a little fact most people don't even know but is one of the things jesus was against most was the money changers 
in the temple, but also potholes. They really? took that part out of the Bible. Yeah, it's like in the hidden parts of the Bible. Okay. Um, what but yeah, he was real, real, like, anti-pothole. What passage was that? Um, Corinthians, potholes 22-7. Okay. I think. I don't know, man. These just seem, like, crazy excessive. Like, we gotta go find a regular speed bump to see the difference. I mean, this is 36 inches. It's gotta be a four foot wide speed bump. Maybe like six inches off the ground. It's insane. Who designed these things? It's killing my suspension. We're going 10 miles an hour. Let's go 15. That's a little better, <laughs> man. It's yeah, it's a little better going faster, huh? Speed bump, uh. uh. At 10 miles an hour, it just hurts your guts, man. And it tells you what's the speed limit on these things, man. What is it? Five. Five? <laughs> All right, so what'd you find out, Jace? All right, guys, so I looked up um, speed bumps on Wikipedia, and here's what I found. A speed bump is a bump in a roadway with heights typically ranging between three and four inches. The traverse distance of a speed bump is typically less than or near to one foot. Okay, now we just checked out these speed bumps. They're at least six inches high, and they're four foot wide. Okay, so that's why they're the craziest speed bumps in town. Let's up. Well, I would, I would classify this as more of your normal speed bump. So we're going to do a little comparison. It was a lot easier, a lot less gut-wrenching to drive over this one. So this one falls in line with what Wikipedia said about speed bumps. This one's two feet wide, 24 inches. It's not even two inches off the ground. This is my kind of speed bump. Hey, you speed bump engineers, get your shit together. All right, so we found these monsters were right off of Colonial. I'd say we're like 35th and 34th, 35th and Colonial. And we got some monsters here. This one's this one's over three feet by three feet, and it's definitely I'd say about three and a half, four inches deep. It's a deep one. That one hurt when we went over. But this it. is like a whole chain of them. Yeah, huh? you've got like you got the you got the baby, the cousin, that's the starter, that's grandpa. This is just the neighbor. Next to Ken. This is the moon crater. I mean, we just we got the whole family here. We got the whole spectrum of, of potholeage. What's going on, man? I think we found a winner. Remember in Jaws when they finally saw the shark, and the old captain's like, "We're gonna need a bigger boat. We're gonna need new tires and suspension." Look, dude, this is this. Yes, look. This is how you know this pothole is some serious shit. Dude, when it's leaving behind the remnants of the cars that hit it. This is a pothole graveyard right here, guys. We found a winner. Parts and stuff. Look at this, dude. What? What's this? What is this? That's how you lose. Look, there's probably car parts in here. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's like a control arm. That's a ball joint from a this control is a arm. killer right here, dude. Wow. So look at this beast, dude. It's almost three foot wide. It's by three by three. Three inches. And it's three inches of just water. And it's just the water. And then you have four and a half inches. Look at this. That's killer, dude. <laughs> we got the winner or what? I don't even think you could walk through these safely. I told you. <laughs> I got my boots wet. So, I don't know if they're going to be able to beat that one. That's a tough one. This one's pretty deep here too, man. Action! Alright. All right, all right, guys, just to recap, today we have pretty much been all over town. We were checking, we were driving all over town, and thank you guys who all gave me your locations of the great uh, potholes and speed bumps throughout town. We tried to find them all for you. Hopefully you guys got a good glimpse of what it's like to drive around Erie in the winter. Um, and you know what? I don't think we would have had the energy to get through today if we didn't have that one special thing. What was that special thing we had? Coffee. 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 Or coffee. 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 You know? We needed that coffee to keep us going. So, you know, I guess we're going to end right here. No, 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 no. Wait, we didn't talk about these inverted speed bumps all over the oh, city. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys have heard of uh, as above, so below, right? So here's the thing. Speed bumps are just... Inverted? No. In, no. Potholes 
are inverted speed bumps. Is that right? Now you're confusing me. Are speed bumps inverted potholes? No, potholes are in inverted speed bumps, man. I so, all right, that. so God potholes. Them there so you would slow down and not kill people, dude. You're right. And you so I just, slow I don't, down. yeah, I don't know shit about speed bumps. Anyway, move forward, man. Yeah, so anyway, guys, um, it's been fun. And uh, we're going to go change the suspension in my truck. And hopefully it's running for tomorrow's vlog. Good times. Peace. Peace.